like uh, writing is like a creative writing, and some people think writing is an expression, and um, so it's many different styles. And uh, the purpose of this uh, program today is to share with our audience, you know, the, the style that you like, and also try to motivate, you know, some of the younger generations and uh, other students, you know, if they learn about what we do, and. Uh, I hope that they find the inspiration too to tell their stories. I think storytelling is fun, is um, you know it's not just personal story about other people's story, and uh, it is a way of expressing yourself. And more importantly, is connecting to people. Would you agree with that? Sir? Yes, uh, you're uh, I, when you write. I mean, you're you 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 hope that people will read it and it will have a meaning and value to them. If, mm -hmm. if they don't read it, uh, it's kind of a dead thing. It, it's yes. useless. So you, you know, you're you're hoping to uh, reach people in some way, right? Whatever that message may be. That you, exactly. You well, you know, and, and I think that is very important to know too, because a lot of people say, well, you know, I write something nobody ever read it or whatever. Uh, it's not about just how many people read it. If you have one person read it and benefit all from it, or able to communicate with you and understanding you, that's a great value. You know, and sometimes we talk to ourselves, and you say, oh, nobody listen. But you know what? We listen to ourselves. So, you know, even though, uh, you know, when you write something, uh, may not having a lot of audience, may not have somebody, uh, you know, say, hey, this is a great work, but continue to write because the self-satisfaction to me is very important too. But if you, just like Tom said, if you're able to connect with one person and get a message out or connect it to two other people, I think it's well worth your time because the time that you spend it on the book and doing it is a lot of self-happiness, self-rewarding feeling. And once you're able to share that with other people, I mean, that is something that we all try to strive for. Do you have yes. that feeling? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's very satisfying. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if, if someone likes your story or mm -hmm. uh, likes... Uh, or understands what you've written, whether it's you know poetry, short stories, if it's mm -hmm. uh, self improvement or self help, right. you know, it's uh, it's a very satisfying feeling mm -hmm. uh, uh, that it's uh, understood or appreciated. Yes, it's doing yeah. some good. Well, I appreciate a lot of your writings because you know for years I read you know a lot of your uh, po poems and, and poetries and and the book that you wrote, um, Journey to Susan. And uh, they have five different short stories in here, and I love it. And I love uh, Tom's uh, writing, the style. Uh, is very patient, very descriptive, and uh, the storyline is very easy to follow. But sometimes I wonder, you know, where he got all these imaginations from, because, uh, you know, like Susan, you know, it's translated by pronunciation. So a lot of times, even though we read this uh, in English, and uh, Susan is a place in China, am I yes. right? Yes, Xinjiang, and, uh, China. Right, mm -hmm. and uh, but you know, by because those pronunciations are translated by, I mean, those names are translated by pronunciations, um, and every province pronounced differently, and we have one hundred and eight major dialects in Chinese. So, the the like Chen in Hong Kong is called Chen, C H A N, in Taiwan is called Chen, C H E N. But in America, it's C-H-I-N. I'm proud to have my chin, though, so don't get me wrong. <laughs> C-H-I-N is great to me. Um, so, I mean, you know, when I look at this dam, I don't know exactly where it was. So I try to look and, and I try to study. But you know what? Tom did all the researches. So he told me a little bit more about it. So I'm so proud to have a friend. that He have, <laughs> you have never been into China and maybe to write a, you know, scriptive story in China, well, I was in Hong Kong for 15 years and 11 months, and I was not able to write anything like this. So I'm so proud of you, Tom. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I want you to tell a little bit uh, about the story uh, in a little while, but first of all, I want to introduce uh, some of the things that you wrote about the poetry because that's something that I adored you about the most. So what kind of poetry that I have been writing? And, uh, and I remember that I read one, uh, one time, uh, you know, it's about a year ago now. It's talking about a turtle, the sea yes. turtle. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have it in here somewhere? Or? I, I do. And uh, it's, um, let's see, I think it's, it appears. 
mm -hmm. and uh, let go of the moment, which uh, that's, uh, Can that's I see a, this? a chapbook that. Let go of the uh, moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's very pretty. Yes. So. And w would you like me to read it? Yeah, or, please. Okay. We'll read it to my audience. They are waiting to hear it. Oh, by the way, um, my dear family and friends, if you have any questions about you know the show or even talk about what we had done last week, the crazy thing, get rid of the snoring, get rid of the um, uh, uh, sleep apnea. You can call us, okay? So let me tell you our number: nine one five five two zero two. Nine one five five two zero two. You can call us anytime to talk to my distinguished guest, Tom Brown, the writer an outstanding author, and also you're welcome to call me and talk about sleep nightmare, about writing, why I write my own book, so talk about anything. So we welcome you, if you have time, please give us a call. All right, Tom. Okay. Uh, well, the, this poem, actually, um, you ask about, you know, why you write something, and the, the, the inspiration behind this actually came from uh, a pulmonary embolism, because I, I had um, pulmonary embolism 13 years ago was the first one, mm. and you um, you feel like you're drowning. Mm. And uh, so after I got over that, I thought about um, turtles, who uh, the sea turtle has to come up for air to breathe and holds its breath uh, for long periods of time underwater. Right, right. And so I, uh, also I thought, you know, the turtle's a, a strong symbol of life. You know, an ancient exactly. Chinese culture. Oh, yes, they call them uh, thousand year uh, turtle. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, some believe that some of the turtles turtle, can live at yeah. a thousand years old. So they call them thousand year yeah. turtles. Yeah. that's very true. And They're long so, lasting and yeah. It's a, so it's it's a strong image or symbol. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I, I use the turtle. Right. This is called "Let Go of the Moment." Mm -hmm. Let go of the moment. Let go of the moment, like turtles at the bottom of the sea whose lungs are spent and ache for air, unable to hold on any longer, rise from the ooze toward the surface. With necks outstretched, they breach the cover of wavering light and inhale the ocean breeze. Old memories are forsaken as senses dulled from murky dark awaken. Sea turtle, how can you endure returning to the ocean floor? Then closing lids on old wise eyes, swims beneath the smiling skies and again lets go. Sea turtle descends to safety in the depths below, another moment gone. There's a shadow in the doorway, invite the stranger in, let go the moment so another can begin. Memories of old caresses will ebb and die away wow. to the brush of here and now upon your face today. Let go the moment, clear away the illusions of the past. In their dissolution, new myths will grow like flowers in the field to die, to return in their season and bloom again. Awesome, I love it. And um, Tom, I have a special request. Such beautiful poem. Can you read it line by line a little bit slower so that my audience, because I heard it, I read it, so more than one time, but for my audience, in order for them to digest and listen to this beautiful description of what you try to express, can you read them slowly line by line, and then try to explain to our audience what, why you're writing it and, and, and how it comes to your mind and express to them so that they have a chance to, uh, to appreciate what I am experiencing right now. Well, <clears throat> I'll try, but uh, I'll just slowly. sometimes yeah. also, uh, sometimes uh, with poetry, also you're trying to, there may not be an exact meaning Rim. that you can define and you're, you, you hope that it evokes a feeling in someone that's right that's uh, unique to them mm -hmm. but how about so, read it a little slower so that okay. so that uh, you know my audience have a chance to ups, you know okay uh, thanks let, let go the moment like turtles at the bottom of the sea whose lungs are spent and ache for air unable to hold on any longer rise from the ooze toward the surface. And that's just a, a visual image, you know, the, of the, the turtle is, um, 
is, is when with spent lungs, he's running out of energy and uh, he's... Uh, tired. Uh, yeah, it could be tired and... Um, Struggle. Uh, things are... Uh, he's not seeing things clearly and mm -hmm. he's down uh, the, in the murky water down below. Mm -hmm. With necks outstretched, they breach the cover of wavering light and inhale the ocean breeze. Old memories are forsaken as senses dulled from murky dark awaken. So when the, the turtle reaches the surface and um, sticks his head out, mm. uh, the sun is, is dazzling and the, the air is clean and fresh and uh, he breathes that in and awakens. Right. Beautiful. And Beautiful. It's, it's air that, you know, our breathing is what keeps us alive. So mm -hmm. he's, he's renewed. Yes, yes, renew, renew the energy. Sea turtle, how can you endure returning to the ocean floor? Then closing lids on old wise eyes, swims beneath the smiling skies, and again lets go. Sea turtle descends to safety in the depths below, another moment gone. This is uh, perhaps a, another thought about um, uh, in, in life, sometimes to live in the brilliance of the sun mm -hmm. uh, can be overwhelming. And so um, uh, the, the turtle returns again to a, a safer place, mm -hmm. you know, down back in the depths of the ocean. I see. Uh, but in another sense, uh, the moment is gone. So, and life is sort of like that with ups and downs. And we, uh, mm -hmm. there, um, it's, it's like your uh, fable of the turtle. Mm -hmm. You know, and he falls out of the tree, but picks himself up again and has to start over uh, climbing up again, sure. climbing the tree up, uh, you know, upward again. Yes. And it's a, a cycle. It is a cycle. It's a learning process. Life to me is a learning process. And it, every it moment is, we yes. are learning. Mm -hmm. And in w another way, um, you, you can't um, hold on to some things forever, and mm -hmm. sometimes you have to let go, let go, whether it's an old idea that maybe you're not, uh, maybe it's of no benefit anymore, or something, right. something has changed and you have to move on, either you, in even your some, life or your thinking. Absolutely, yes. Even sorrow, you know, that we have to move on sometimes. Well, that's that's true, yeah. Some Some people hold on too long and... And um, it does not benefit themselves or the other people and, and, that's uh, and right. family too. So, so uh, let's say uh, in an unfortunate situation, uh, I mean, I do know of people like that who perhaps their parents have died and mm -hmm. they're still um, holding on to the old things, uh, perhaps hoarding things. Mm -hmm. And um, when the, there, there comes a point, you know, even after grieving that you need to let go. Yes, and, yes. And, right. uh, well, that is important for us to, um, to, to understand, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. sadness, grieving, they are all part of our life, you know, we, we have to embrace that in the, some, in the same time that, you know, we have to motivate ourselves and, and I'm going to tell a story about that, you know, when, uh, when you finish this. Okay. Yeah. There's a shadow in the doorway, invite the stranger in, let go the moment so another can begin. Mm -hmm. Memories of old caresses will ebb and die away to the brush of here and now upon your face today. And that uh, my intention is just to show that sometimes you need to, again, you, you bring in something new mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. move on. And uh, um, that applies to, to, you know, to many things. Yes, sir, it does. It does apply in many, many things, in many, many ways too. You know, it's all about perspective as well. So uh, that's why I love this poem that you write. Uh, and I love it because it's very, very imaginary. Uh, you know, it's very descriptive and you interpret the way that you want to. And uh, please go on. Let go the moment, clear away the illusions of the past. In their dissolution, new myths will grow like flowers in the field to die, to return in their season and bloom again. And um, it's, this is just um, a, a um, an allusion to the um, renewal of life and things, um, you know, if they, they do um, 
go away, but making way for something new to grow and mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to bloom again. Well, I love it. I love it. I want to thank, thank you. you very much for sharing oh, okay. with our audience.